I think it's been uh, very good. The fact that uh, a lot of people have uh, traveled after about two, three years and the platform, the bigger platform has opened up and the regular M textile base has started. I think the response has been quite good. And we're very happy with the first two days of response. Uh, we did find a lot of walk-in. I think a lot of people wanted to travel, touch base, see what companies new developments are and what new product bases are. So I think it's been very impressive and uh, it's, it's a very good start to the new year. I think we, we started uh, the COVID with a lot of apprehensions, but the COVID year was fantastic for Berlin because of e-commerce business and, and certain other uh, reasons that people were shopping more for home than in apparels because they were always at the home. Uh, we always expected that there's going to be a slowdown because uh, the year that COVID saw was, was quite magnificent and then it has to always flatten out and be realistic. So the next year kind of flattened out and, and uh, now I think we've hit the bottom and I think it's only that we can look up uh, from now onwards. Uh, another thing is that uh, what the COVID year has taught us is to be uh, uh, you know, focused on product development and also work on certain things that probably will have impact on the business. Uh, sustainability has become a very, very big buzzword now in the business and, uh, and these are in lines with our developments also. As you know, we are primarily on the high end of the market. So uh, basically anything on the bedding side, which involves a lot of alternative fibers to cotton, which includes uh, uh, superior cotton types like uh, Sea Island or Suvin. Uh, Suvin has been a proprietary, uh, you know, kind of uh, class definition for our business. Uh, I think probably in India, we use the largest amount of Suvin cotton in our bedding. Uh, we also use a lot of uh, uh, different types of cotton which ranges from uh, from the West Indies cotton. We have Giza 45 uh, which is also proprietary to very very few companies across the world. So it's all about premium. Uh, <clears throat> then it's all about sustainability. Uh, I think very humbly we could say that Paramount was one of the first few companies in India as early as 2005 to have started the organic uh, fair trade uh, certification part. So that's really helped us uh, to take early leads in the business. I think the, the, the sustainability part is misspelled or uh, more often used than it should be used. But the real sustainability comes from actually using up whatever uh, emissions that you have uh, in the factory. It has to be used up. So basically, uh, you know, there are three ways of looking at it. One is to, uh, you know, recycle. Uh, one is to reuse and recycle. And the third one is to actually not emit, not uh, you know, uh, uh, throw up something which is unwanted. So that is waste minimization. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a large ocean by itself. And every day there's new sustainability theories that are popping up. But Paramount does what best it can do at this moment. Uh, as you know, all our factories are solar and wind powered. So we don't have any carbon emissions. Uh, so we do a bit to the, to the environment and to the society. Giving it back is uh, a major goal in Paramount. So we are, we, are, we are, as you know, we are a class producer, we are not a mass producer. So there's a very thin line between differentiating uh, a product from another product. So product innovation, product differentiation is a key part of our business. And blend with sustainability, it gives us an edge over others. Uh, and some of the products that we do uh, have worked very, very well in the international markets. Uh, we don't actually compete with, uh, with a lot of players. In fact, we rather prefer to complement uh, with the existing ecosystem of uh, the business. So that's that's always led us very well. So leaving apart the China Plus strategy, I think we should just leave that apart. Uh, the, the focus should be on, on uh, selling your business based on uh, the philosophy and the, uh, the way in which your business is built upon. So I always find that there are a lot of new geographies that Paramount could expand into. There are certain geographies that we are not present at all. Like for instance, we are not in Africa. Like for instance, we are not in certain other parts of uh, Far East or in Middle East. So we would like to expand or gear up that process. Uh, but the good thing that we have is that everybody is talking about a recession. And I, I, I think it's not as bad as we, we really think. So uh, we hope that 
things will uh, augur very well for 2023 uh, and i am very optimistic about uh, the business prospects for us uh, our strategy has always been to uh, to expand on new product levels and new geographies and i hope that this will give us a good complement for 2023